Good morning. This is the third day of our trip to Lake Ballard from Perth along the Great Eastern Highway to Lake Ballard and beyond and beyond. So here we're at the uh, the dump point at Westonia where we spent the night. It's a free overnight camp spot and uh, the bush here is absolutely delightful. There's lovely bird sounds and uh, uh, the eucalypts are uh, wonderful to see. So this is a remnant uh, bush reserve uh, left from when uh, gold mining finished. So here's the van and the dump point. And uh, it's uh, a very nice, uh, very nice sunny day. Hello again. So we're at the Westonia Public Conveniences where we've uh, filled up with water from the tap just here. And now we're going to have a little look at the town. It's uh, very neatly done. This is the main street, Wolfram Street. I like the town name, the street names, because they all have a mining context. And this is so neatly done. So, just come over now to the van. lovely palm tree in the middle of the town and cafe and a lovely museum. And back to the back. This is the road from uh, Watsonia, Westonia, heading back now to the Great Eastern Highway. So there are glimpses of nice uh, open fields here, uh, good, good quality road, all um, financed by royalties to regions and also the uh, sponsorship of the mining company. on the Great Eastern Highway now and uh, we like this part of the road because you can see clearly the white line on the left defining the width of the road. Sometimes the bitumen has deteriorated such that the white line has disappeared and that's much more difficult to drive on. So this parking spot is uh, what we like. It's bitumized. It goes off the road so you feel quite safe from the passing traffic which is pretty constant. Here we've got a truck coming up We've stopped in Southern Cross because we've got a problem with our tide. It looks like there's a nail. I'll just show you. And you can see here that we've got a nail. So we're just going to get some advice from the 
tyre company here. One of the good things about country towns is that they're self-sufficient in these things. So we just have the oversized warning van just gone through and here come the trucks. So this is the sort of thing that you can come across from time to time out on the road. truck coming up. How good is this? This is Yerdani well free campsite about 60 kilometers on from Southern Cross and we're about uh, 500 meters or so off the Great Eastern Highway nestled in these woodlands here with these salmon gums and uh, it's and the the uh, the red orange dust ground is just lovely uh, in contrast with the with the green plantation plants so uh, we've just arrived now um, and uh, settling in and you can see we've got a marvelous tree right in front of the the van here so to bring you up to date about the nail in the tire uh, which we uh, got fixed up in Southern Cross. Well, uh, we found a, a delightful mechanic, Joyce. Uh, lovely to see the ladies stepping forward. And um, she was able to pull out the tack. It was really only about um, a centimetre long, so there was no real problem. And at the same time, we uh, got our oil checked because we had a light showing this morning that we needed to put some oil in and we've now got a container of oil to keep us going so that was all a success and uh, lovely to see the, the ladies stepping forward so just getting a close-up of these uh, salmon gums and a lovely bronze colour is quite striking and lovely to see and um, when you get a whole forest of them it's uh, a beautiful sight. Now we don't need to really worry about snakes because it's uh, June and uh, in the cold weather they hibernate so we're told but obviously we'll keep our eyes down when walking around but it's it's pretty open bush here with uh, the sandy paths so um, it's going to be okay ex exploring around which is what I'm going to do now go for a little walk and uh, here's a beautiful tree coming up now um, let's just go up and have a look at it so here it is This tree is interesting because you can see the grey wood underneath the outer bronze bark. So, a bit curious. Just taking a little walk and there are a couple of car wrecks not too far from us. So, a place to get rid of your car if you want to. Here we have a blue bush or perhaps a salt bush. 
always lovely to see them, particularly if you get many of them all together. It, uh, it's quite a nice colour. Quite a number of these bushes in this area too. And another car wreck. Don't know how long it's been here, but it looks pretty decayed to me.